Hello and welcome to this installment of Mantis Hacks. In this video I'm going to be looking at some modifications that I've made to my 3D printed Giant Lego Go-Kart kit. If you've not seen the uh, Giant Lego Go-Kart builds then do take a look in the description below for links to videos and further information. So one of the reoccurring comments on the Giant Lego Go-Kart build was could I motorise it or make it radio controlled? Well, the answer is yes but of course I had to do it with five times scale Lego motors. There we go, look at that. So we're here today to uh, give this its first test run and uh, see how well it performs. But first of all, let's take a closer look at some of the build. I have added a Lego motor to the front, which is connected via that gear tooth there, back onto the steering shaft, which turns the steering rack like that. Inside of here is a DC motor with a planetary gearbox and feedback, so this is actually acting like a servo. Another motor on the back, inside of this one is a brushless motor, and that's connected via this T5 pulley down through to the uh, back wheels here. And inside of here is a lithium battery, and all of these have got like little connectors on, so they look like Lego. Pull that out, there we go. Like a proper old Lego connector. So if I can get this wheel off, put proper bearings on the axles there so they turn nice and freely. My antenna here, shall I just take this off? There's an orange receiver in there which is already broken for some reason it's given up the ghost. Anyway it's supposed to plug into that. This is all hanging out the back now because um, this one is no good. Let's just give this a little test on the ground. So we've got uh, steering there, this is working nicely and there we go. That's really hard to steer and the steering's collapsed. So uh, got a little bit of a ground clearance issue at the moment. The, um, the bottom of my steering has collapsed, but I'm sure we can fix that. None of this is glued together still, so it's all still, uh, you know, proper Lego build, but we can fix that. <laughs> Quick repairs, I've had to glue the bottom of this pin back in place on there, that snapped straight off. Also the wheels were starting to slide off, so I'm going to fix that as well. Right, round two, let's try again. Well, it was good at drifting up to that point. <laughs> okay, round three, it's slowly becoming more zip tie than Lego, but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> I think I might have lost my steering. <laughs> Might, might need a little bit more glue. Uh. <laughs> more zip ties round here and re glued this joint. So, uh, round four. Popped a 16 amp fuse. <laughs> It's not very scientific, but according to this phone app, I hit a top speed of 26 kilometers an hour. Okay, I think we can call that test a success. Um, yes, there were a few technical issues with the uh, strength of plastics and stuff, and maybe a few more cable ties than I anticipated, but otherwise I think pretty pleased with that. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how this go-kart was built originally, then do check the description for links to my other videos. And I'll be releasing uh, another video following this up on showing you how I built these uh, giant scale Lego motors. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.
Don't forget to check out my other projects on the YouTube channel and facebook.com forward slash Mantis Robot. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mantis Robot or Instagram. And don't forget to check the description section for further information on materials and printers that I use and also links to other videos. Oh, <laughs> there goes that shaft. <laughs> I told you it was going to come off. <laughs>